Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the 1933 Double Eagle. This coin is a rock star in the National Numismatic Collection, and that's because she's one of only a handful that survived the great meltdown of more than a half a million double eagles in 1933 when the United States went off the gold standard. This is the coin that everybody wants to see, and I think it's the first time that this particular coin has left the United States and come out of the Smithsonian Museum. So it's a major opportunity for coin collectors throughout Europe to see this amazing piece of metal. Apart from being very rare, this is actually a very beautiful piece of art. Um, it was sculptured by St. Gaudens, it's a piece of Art Deco history, and it was part of the first Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt's, desire to make American coin from being rather boring and frumpy into a beautiful object, which it is. But coin's important at this time because um, it was issued right in the middle of a banking crisis. Um, when I think there, there was a change in presidency, Roosevelt closed all the banks for at least a week. They took all the gold coins that were in existence back into them and meant to melt them down. However, there was a slight failure and some of them got away. Two went to the Smithsonian, another few went out into the world, but they'd been hunted down assiduously by the American Secret Service over years and years. I think they found most of them, but one escaped and that was auctioned for a huge amount of money. She's a survivor and that she didn't just survive to live in a dusty coin collection. She is out in the world traveling and telling her story. We leave here and we go to Dublin. We have a lot of security traveling with us. After Dublin, we go to Brussels, then Prague, then Warsaw, then Oslo and Helsinki and home. But this is a chance for us to reach audiences that we would have never reached before. As far as the security is concerned, this girl, our double eagle, is traveling with her own security guard and then in every country there are seven different teams of security on the ground that get us through the airport, to the venue, and back out again. So super tight security.